Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be simplifying a radical expression with cube roots. We have the cube root of 7 plus 5 times the square root of 2 plus the cube root of 7 minus 5 times the square root of 2. And we're going to be simplifying this expression and finding a much much simpler result. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. For my first method I am going to use uh, the pieces separately. So first of all, I have the cube root of 7 plus 5 root 2. And I'd like to simplify this. So I'm just going to assume that this can be denested, meaning that I can write it as a plus b root 2, where a and b are rational numbers. OK, this is not always the case, obviously, but uh, we're just going to try to do it. So this equation gives me, gives me a very important piece of information. First of all, from binomial theorem, if you cube both sides and if a and b are rational, you're going to get uh, a system of equations and we're going to work with that. But also, you're going to notice something interesting. If I try to cube root the conjugate of this expression, then its cube root is going to be the, the conjugate of the result. So they are conjugates, in other words. And this is also really cool because these are good pairs, so we're going to multiply these together. Let's go ahead and do that first because that's going to give us a nice equation. So cube root of, now multiply inside the radicals. This is difference of two squares, 49 minus 50. That is going to be negative 1. That's a giant negative 1. And the right-hand side reminds me Pell's equation. We did some videos on Pell's equation. You can see one here. It, and it gives us a squared minus 2b squared. Uh, or we missed the opportunity to be or not to be. Okay. So from here, we can write this as a squared minus 2b squared equals negative 1. That's going to be one of my equations. And then the second equation is going to come from cubing one of these. Now, there's an alternative method to the first one, which I'm not going to show you because that's kind of time consuming and you can definitely do it for yourselves. But if you cube both of these equations and work with that, you don't have to multiply these together. You're going to be working with homogeneous system, a cubic homogeneous system, and you can solve it by making some substitutions. And we've done that before, so let's do something different. I'm, I'll cube the first one, and if you want to proceed with the second one, that's fine too. So I'm going to cube this first equation. That's going to give me 7 plus 5 root 2 equals a plus b root 2 cubed. So let's go ahead and cube what's on the right-hand side. And when I cube, I'm using the following formula. Let me indicate that so you're not surprised. I usually use this identity. It's kind of more organized. x cubed plus y cubed plus 3xy times x plus y. You can use this identity in many different ways. And if you go ahead and subtract this from both sides, and, you know, uh, this is how we use the Cardano's formula. In other words, that's where it, um, you know, starts, sort of. So from here, I can basically cube the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and cube right-hand side using the formula. Uh, x is a in this case, and y is b root 2. So that's going to be x cubed, which is this, and then y cubed is going to be 2 root 2 times b cubed. Let's go ahead and write it that way. Plus 3ab is going to be 3, uh, 3 root, 3ab root 2. I could probably write it that way. Times... Um, a plus b root 2, right? So that's just the original expression. Okay. And that should equal 7 plus 5 root 2. Awesome. Let's go ahead and organize this expression a little bit. And then we're going to solve a system of equations from here. Not necessarily a system, but uh, we'll get an equation that I'm, I'll be using with the other equation. So this gives me the following. If I distribute, I get a cubed. And then uh, the second one is going to give me 3ab squared times 2, which is 6ab squared, and then plus 2b cubed, multiply by root 2, but I'm going to factor out root 2, so I can write it this way, and then plus 3a squared b, and that is multiplied by root 2, and that's going to equal 7 plus 5 root 2. All right, let's take a look at this equality now. This is equal to 7 plus 5 root 2, so I can safely say that this is equal to 7. Awesome. Now, I want to use that a cubed plus 6ab squared equals 7. Of course, you could also set this equal to 5 and solve, uh, solve it as a system, as I said earlier. 
but that's going to be uh, more time consuming. So let's go ahead and use the previous equation that we got uh, by multiplying a squared minus 2b squared equals negative 1. And again, this is a PALS equation. But um, we're, we have a system, so we're good. From here, I want to isolate b squared and write it as a squared plus 1 divided by 2. And then I want to plug it in here. Let's go ahead and do that easy. a cubed plus 6a multiplied by a squared plus 1 over 2 equals 7. 2 goes into 6 3 times. This gives me a cubed plus 3a cubed plus 3a equals 7. If you add like terms, you get 4a cubed plus 3a minus 7 equals 0. Obviously, in this case, a equals 1 is a solution because the sum of the coefficients is 0. And if you factor this equation, I'm going to save you that trouble. And you can basically write this equation as a minus 1 times 4a squared plus 4a minus 7. You can also do polynomial division. Uh-oh, this equation has no real solutions, so I'm going to have to go with this one, which tells me a equals 1. And then if you plug in a equals 1 here, you're going to get that b is also 1. You know, some I know some of you are saying b can also be negative 1, but it just doesn't work if b is negative 1. In this system, it works, but with the other, uh, with this one, it just doesn't work. So did we have to check that? You can easily check that. That's pretty easy. But a equals 1, b equals 1 gives us something super duper important because remember, our assumption was that the cube root of 7 plus 5 root 2 equals a plus b root 2, which means that it's going to be 1 plus root 2. And as a consequence, the cube root of 7 minus 5 root 2 is going to be 1 minus root 2. If you add these guys up, you're going to get the answer, and that is going to be 2. Great. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the second solution now and see how that compares to the first method. You're going to let me know which one you like better. All right, second method. For my second method, I'll do what is commonly done to these expressions because these two are conjugates and they're being added. So why not take that expression, maybe set it equal to x, and then go ahead and cube both sides. That makes sense, right? Because we'll get rid of some of the cube roots. Now, again, I'm going to be using the formula for a plus b quantity cubed or x plus y quantity cubed. That's going to be the cube of the first term, the cube of the second term, and then plus 3ab, 3 times this times that. Again, that is going to be cube root of negative 1 because 49 minus 50, right? And then that is multiplied by, that is multiplied by the cube root of 7 plus 5 root 2 plus cube root of 7 minus 5 root 2. Oh, great, and that is going to equal x cubed. But wait a minute, wait a minute. This is equal to x. Uh-oh, these two cancel out. 7 plus 7 equals 14. Everything falls apart. 14, that's a negative 3. 14 minus 3x is equal to x cubed. Let's put everything on the same side. x cubed plus 3x minus 14 is equal to 0. If I ask you to guess any integer solutions, you would probably say, x equals 2 works. And then when you divide by x equals 2, obviously, or x minus 2, you'll notice that this expression can be written as x squared plus 2x plus 7 multiplied by x minus 2. And notice that this equation also has a negative delta, which means it has no real solutions. Therefore, the only solution happens to be x equals 2. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.